This is Guangzhou, formerly known as Canton. Population of about 10 to 15 million. It's the main city in the fastest growing economy, in the fastest growing province, in the fastest growing country in the last 30 years. Now increasingly, Guangzhou is becoming known for sustainable transport. Guangzhou won the International Sustainable Transportation Award this year because of their remarkable new bus rapid transit system. We promote uh, bus rapid transit in China to solve the transportation congestion problems. BRT is, means bus rapid transit. One word is surface level metro. It's used the high capacity bus and the new bus technology and it's a real uh, bus priority method. What the Guangzhou BRT has done is to raise the bar. So this is more than three times bigger than any other BRT system in Asia. Well, 800,000 passengers a day, 27,000 passengers per hour carried in a single direction. Uh, I think, I think uh, first of all, the BRT is very uh, we have 23 kilometers, and this is the first corridor, and I have 26 stations. And our station is prepaid. People pay before to enter the station. And so when they board in a bus, and they don't need to pay again. And our station is different size. Uh, for example, in the city center, and have a lot of people. Then the station is very big. It's four modules, and uh, more than 240 meters long. The suburban area, and uh, it's small, it's 60 meters. So we design the station according to the demand. Buses can overtake other buses. So if one bus is stopped at one sub-stop, the bus behind at a previous one can, can move in and take over. It doesn't have to wait behind that. The Guangzhou BRT is also a direct service BRT. So that means that the buses come in and out of the BRT corridor without the passengers needing to transfer, to stop at the end and to transfer to another line. So you won't see any interchanges, you won't see any transfer terminals. That's because the buses can continue outside the corridor. Also think about uh, multimodal integration. And for example, in, on this corridor, we have three metro stations integrated with our BRT station. And uh, along the all the BRT stations, uh, we design the bike stations. Uh, it's the first BRT system in China to include bicycles in the design. So now we have 5,000 bikes in 113 stations along the BRT corridor in a public bike system. And there were also about 5,500 uh, bike parking positions included in the BRT design.另外方便一下周边的一个居民的一个出行因为家里这比较近嘛所以才当车了才当是对十几分钟就可以到这里了好处的话锻炼身体了对不对像平时上班也没时间锻炼然后的话呢在一个也自己可以控制上班时间